Hello everybody, Marty Jobson here, and today, under my microscope for Micro Minute, what we've got is something that was suggested by um, uh, some subscribers. Uh, they tried it, and I thought I should have a go as well. So this is for you, Verity and Simon, and what they tried was salt and sugar. So what we've got here, let me have a look, if I put my little desk camera on, is I've got myself some little pots of salt and sugar, and I've been doing a few other bits and bats here. So let's start out with salt. I'm going to take just a few crystals and put that onto salt, onto there like that. Just a few tiny crystals. This is just ordinary table salt, nothing fancy. And then that is going to go under my microscope. Careful not to end up with it everywhere. Now, because this is... Um, to do with crystals, what I thought I would use is I would use cross-polar microscopy. And I've explained that before in a previous episode, and I'll put that down in the show notes. But all you need to know is that it, it's really good for crystals because it shows up uh, how twisted the light gets when it passes through the crystal. So, OK, here we go. This is what salt looks like under the microscope. And if I just focus that ever so slightly... There you go, it's rather lovely, isn't it? It's lots of little tiny blocks. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit, because it is jolly small. Uh, and get the focus right on. And that is salt underneath. I'm actually going to turn the brightness down a little bit, because I'm getting a little bit of glare off something. I'm getting glare off, off I think it's... um. Off my uh, off the stuff that's coming in from outside. So this is what salt looks under the microscope. It's literally lots of tiny little cubes. Um, and some of them are quite rounded. So this one, this one here has sort of become quite rounded, and some of them are even more rounded than that. In fact, uh, let's see. Some of them I found are very rounded indeed. But these are actually all pretty nice cubic crystals. So, OK, so that's what salt looks like under the microscope. You've got these little cubes. And then, as I say, because I'm using cross-polar microscopy, you've got a black background and then the crystals themselves shine up. So let's do sugar now. So, again, I'm just going to take a little pinch of crystals. I need a bit more than that. And there you go. Get them all in one place. They're bouncing all over the place. And we'll put the sucrose, because that is, of course, what sugar is. Sugar... Uh, that you get under uh, from you know that you get when you buy in the shops is sucrose specifically because there's different types of sugar. So here we go. This is what sucrose looks like under the microscope, and um, well, it's similar, shall we say? Except there are some subtle differences. First of all, it's quite a lot bigger. This is granulated sugar. Granulated sugar, you get the biggest um, the biggest crystals uh, of anything we you can sort of you can buy. But importantly, it's not perfect cubes. Um, it's quite difficult to show because they tend not to end up on their sides. I'm going to try and do something that's probably foolhardy. And I'm going to try and move a, a crystal about and try and turn it over. Oh, there. There, that's quite good. So if we look at this crystal here, can you see? that it's not, oops, not in the centre of the screen, sorry. I need to, I need to look at me, there. Right, I'm going to turn the brightness down a little bit because I'm quite bright. So I'll turn that down and then focus on that. Uh, and you can see it's, it's quite, it, it's not a perfect square. It's kind of got all these funky angles on it. And in fact, that's because of the chemical structure of the two substances. So salt is a fairly simple chemical structure. It's sodium chloride. It's got sodium atoms and it's got chloride atoms. And they arrange themselves in a very neat, rigid, sort of cubic array. And in fact, uh, the crystal structure is called face-centred cubic. And that results in cubic crystals. That are sort of when the crystals grow, they're kind of cubic. Um, whereas... Sugar is much more complicated, and in fact, it's what is known as monoclinic crystals. Um, and to be honest, the best way to see the crystals is not to look at the stuff that you've got just sitting over there in the kitchen. You've got to grow your own crystals. So I've tried to do that <clears throat> and to prove to you that these aren't sort of weird artefacts of, of, 
the production process. So let's get rid of this, this one here. I'll put this one over here. This is the sugar and get rid of that one. That is that. And I'm just going to go back to my desk camera. And here, this is what, what I did. I took uh, another slide that you see, I've labelled it appropriately, uh, and put a drop of water on. And then I sprinkled some, um, uh, some salt, some sodium chloride. You can see I, I wrote sodium chloride because I'm a nerdy scientist. Um, and then I've allowed that to evaporate uh, so that we can see the crystals. Let's take a look at that underneath the microscope. Uh, just get it aligned just right. And this is what you see. So um, you can see here's my sort of splat of crystals that are formed there. Uh, and it's sort of formed this sort of puddle, which has then dried out. And it's all, crisp, it's all sort of crusty around the edges. But what I want to do is zoom in on the central bit here, which is sort of quite nice and clear. And if I zoom in on this bit here, you can see that all the crystals that have formed are indeed little cubes. So I've formed these like thousands and thousands of tiny little cubic crystals, showing us that this is the genuine kind of form that this crystal takes because you know it's not something that has been manufactured. This is just how how it appears. Uh, and it's rather fun. And some of them are much bigger than others. You've got we've grown some really quite big crystals there in the middle. Can you see them? They're sort of piled one on top of each other. I have to actually sort of focus up and down to sort of see there's the top of the crystal stack and there's the bottom. Uh, and then as you go further out, it becomes more jumbled and more difficult to see what's going on. Um, this is a bit difficult to see what's going on there, but this bit in the middle here is quite nice. There we go. I'll zoom in on that. There's some nice big crystals there that have grown. There. I quite like these ones here, this little series of three here they're quite nice and they're all like little little sort of cubes stacked on top of cubes okay so that's salt now that's fairly straightforward but what about sugar so again go back to this camera here again sugar's a bit more tricksy so what i did was i took uh, a, a, again a, a little drop of water dissolved a whole load of sugar in it sprinkled some sugar in and dissolved it and then what you need to do is to actually get it to crystallize, you sprinkle then, you keep adding a few drops of, uh, a few little crystals of sugar. So that there's something to start the crystallization from, because otherwise it just sort of dries out, nothing much happens. But this one's rather fun, actually. This one looks rather nice, because, uh, and I've got two here. One that, I'll show you the starting off one first. So this is what happens when you really, you just start it off you get stuff looking like this. So here, this is actually a little splat of liquid. You can't really see the liquid because it doesn't colour up. And then there's a couple of little um, sugar crystals. So these are the three sugar crystals I dropped in originally. But you can see they're starting to grow. These little, can you see here, there's sort of little hairy bits growing out the side of the crystals. And if you leave that for long enough, you end up with this, which is really rather lovely. Oh, and it's just doing a little autofocus. I've got the autofocus on just because that helps with this sort of sample. Um, and I'll just make sure I'm completely at extinction. Yep. And now you can start to see some of the fun colours as well, because depending on the thickness of the crystal, you get different colours. So I'm going to zoom right in on this, like this. Here we go. And uh, this bit's quite fun over here. Look. Uh, ooh, and focus. And you can see. Look at those, aren't they pretty? So again, and you can see here, and this is quite good, you can see the crystals growing out. There's probably a little speck of dust or something there that started it. The crystals, the monoclinic crystals, they're growing out in straight strands. They don't form cubes, they form these straight strands um, if you grow them flat. And here, because of the thicknesses of the, the very thin nature of this, you get all these lovely colours. Oh look, there's a, in the corner there, there's a really nice sort of rainbow splat there. Let's have a look at that. Let's bring that into, into the center. There we go. All right. Oh, actually, that is really rather lovely, that section there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So as always with this, um, thanks go to Zeiss for uh, providing the microscopes that allow me to show you all these lovely pictures. Um, that's all we've got for Micro Minute this week. Next week, 
uh, let's see what are we doing next week. Next week's a special week. Um, we've got uh, we've got all sorts of things on on. We've got some stuff on Monday. We've got some stuff on Wednesday, and on Friday is Global Science Show. And for that, I'm going to have another chance at driving a scanning electron microscope. You don't drive a scanning electron microscope like that at all. But I'll be driving a scanning electron microscope um, over at the Zeiss headquarters again. So that'll be fun. So join me then. Um, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks very much. My name is Martin Jobson and that has been Micro Minute.